ability to communicate has been dra dramatically limited. Sometimes I have hope for how things are going to turn out. Sometimes I have hope that people will wake up. But is it realistic to assume that if everywhere you turn you just see people slowly degrading into their technology? The transhumanist agenda. This virtual reality You know, it's funny, I was talking to Angry MGTOW about this very thing, and I was telling him that I remember I caught a commercial on TV of the virtual headset, the virtual reality VR headset, just like the Oculus Rift. You put your cell phone in it, and you can use your cell phone, and it's... Uh, wearable. And that was saying, I saw that on a 1-800 commercial. You know those late night commercials that are on where it says paid programming? I saw it in one of those. The product is becoming completely acceptable now and accessible. It's becoming the new norm. You will be able to hook the device up to your computer and instead of looking at the screen, you'll be able to look through the device just like that famous Mark Zuckerberg picture of all those people on those virtual reality headsets with the Oculus Rifts. And you will have people wear those. They won't leave their house. So I'm paying close attention to these things and seeing where they go. I think one thing that the MGTOW community and the men going their own way sets us apart from the ability to question what the mainstream media is telling us because we all know it's a lie we all know we were fed lies we all know that we were instructed to believe those lies reminds me of something if you're a young guy out there and you're interested in going to college, I want you to think about something for a minute. The college system is a complete racket. Unless you major in STEM, and even then, depends on what STEM degree you major in, but most STEM degrees are worth it. What you see today is multiple people getting liberal arts degrees and degrees in English, art, and all those other things. They're useless degrees. Useless. You're not going to be able to get a job with any of those. And in an economy, how it is right now, you can forget about it. Student loan debt's a big thing, too. It's designed to enslave you. Right, out of you get, right after you get out of high school, the culture and the society is pushed upon you to join college and to be a part of college because it is the thing to do. College is not college. It is high school 2.0. What do you go? I mean, what do you think these young kids go and do in college? They go to party. They go to get laid. They don't give a shit about their education. Are you kidding me? It's a paid vacation. What do you think the dorms and the high schools are all so fancy? And, you know, it's because it's designed for the younger people coming in to make it a party environment. The culture, the movies, it all depicts people drinking and having fun at college. You think people are thinking, or at least many people are thinking, what they're going to end up doing in college? Like, I'm going to study really hard, and I'm going to go major in STEM, and I'm going to see if I can get myself a job. You think those people are thinking that? Very few. I didn't go to college. Yet. I'm still in my early, early 20s, so I still have plenty of time to make that decision. If I do, I'm majoring in STEM. I'll have to see how this country goes before I make that decision. But as of now, I'm glad I know these things, and this is why I wanted to talk about these things. It's important to people to know. I suggest you go look up uh, 
Andy Sandberg, who is a comedian, he did a Harvard commencement speech where he basically trashed Harvard right out in front of everybody. And it was hilarious. He trashed Harvard so hard. I suggest you go look that up on YouTube. Andy Sandberg, Harvard speech. He goes on to talk about how the following degrees are pretty much useless, such as English, anything related to art, anything related to studies. Asian studies, Middle Eastern studies, all useless as of the day you graduate. Now, how much of a bite in the ass could that be? <laughs> yeah, you see countless people lining up to get these degrees because they're easier. Not because of the educational forethought, but because of the party. They want to go to party can't party when you're working hard, can you? I have many friends that are, that I have met through the uh, film community and the film area of things. And a lot of them are liberals, as the industry attracts a lot of those kind of people. I was talking to this one girl one time at a barbecue. I asked her, what are you doing? She says, I'm, I want to make art. And I asked her where she went to school. What did you major in? She majored in art. She majored in art. Can you believe that? And uh, you don't see her working the corporate ladder or working in the private sector, making the money. My question is, what happens when people begin to realize how the world really works? Why would they ever want to compete in such an environment when they're screwed from the start? I mean, people and kids are screwed right out of the start when they get out of high school. They're told to major in the liberal arts. And they end up in $20,000 in debt, $50,000 in debt, a hundred, two hundred, fifty thousand. dollars $250,000. It's limitless. And on top of interest, it just keeps coming and going. The debt just keeps building. One thing they don't teach people in the younger area of things is how the economy reflects your student loan debt. This is why they want uh, people like Bernie Sanders in office, because they know that whatever he says that agrees with whatever issues they might have, like he was talking about in the beginning of this whole presidential election, how he should allow college to be free, which I agree. I agree college should not have to, you should not have to pay to learn what you're going to have to learn to get a job and work anyway. But that's how the system works. It's there to screw you over. So be advised and be aware of those things. Don't jump on the bandwagon. Go with your gut. I think things are going to get quite interesting this this uh, fall year. We're already approaching fall. It's going to get quite interesting what happens in the political scheme of things. I'm keeping my eye out. That's all I had to say, and I appreciate everybody for listening.